Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium, the big build. And hopefully we are going to make some proper inroads this week, or this episode I should say, into the Pirate Cove area of our aquarium. I can't actually zoom out any further. Uh, you'll see that I've already gone ahead and painted this area that we created at the end of the last episode where we were just sort of preparing for what's to come. And the idea is, is that we are going to uh, sort of come down and around and then we're going to go up, up here. So what should happen is that we've got a nice area in here where we can house everything that we need uh, behind the scenes. And then, yeah, we can work our way up here. So the pirate area is likely... I would think to go around here and maybe about halfway up before we then move into the ice area which will come down and up and around and then yeah we'll probably be about there um honestly i i'm kind of just winging it because i because i've never really gone crazy deep in this game to know exactly how many fish we've yet to see or how many ranks there is i don't actually know how big this big build is actually going to get but yeah it's going to be it's going to be pretty large, so we should, we've should we got plenty more to go. Uh, one downside is is that if we are going to do the um, the Pirate Cove here, we kind of need to unlock some more fish. <laughs> because we don't have many more tropical fish left. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, tropical fish and, and, and species over here. So we are going to need to um, get cracking with the ecology research as the game goes on. Let's unpause so we can start raking in some money as well. So for the time being, then, we've only got these two. We've got the clownfish and we've got the horse-eye jack, which is quite a large fish. As you can see, it needs a very large tank. It is a bully as well. It's a shoaler. It gets up to 27 in terms of size. Will that make it our largest fish? Um, what's the button? What be the button to look at all the fish in our, in our aquarium. It's that one, isn't it? There we go. It's not going to tell us, is it, that's how about the size of the fish that we've got. The fish that we put in here were pretty big. One of those. How many are they? They're 18. Three. Oh, they're tiny. Four. French angel fish. They're 11. I think this is going to comfortably be... I think this is going to comfortably be our biggest fish in the aquarium. How big are these guys? These are... What's the problem? Oh, there's now, there's now too many of them. Time to start selling a few. Okay, sold a few. Got a bit of money back for that. We can actually start breeding our fish and selling them. Uh, yes, I don't think we've got anything. Well, how big is the panther grouper? That's 14. No, I think these are comfortably going to be our biggest fish. Right, so, uh, just to remind myself, so, uh, size 27, they're going to need a tank with 162 in terms of capacity. I think we've only got the one tank that can do that, apart from the, um, the jetty and bridge tanks. I'm not sure. We've already got two of those just then. I don't necessarily think I want to use another one. So, what would be kind of, I mean, we don't have them yet, I don't think. Have we got any small tunnel tanks? So, we could wait and get this one. Could maybe do that. Get our first tunnel tank in. Hmm. Maybe we do that. Maybe we look at just making a small one full of Nemos and do it that way around. Now, what are they live? An um, animone lover. The animal doesn't need to share with an animal, but it is worth extra prestige if it does. Hmm. A long way to go until we get to the next level. I know we've only just leveled up. Uh, okay, I, I don't really care about all that. All the breeding reports. Jill has leveled up. My goodness, they are getting good. A Greek pot. Yeah, we'll take a Greek pot. Uh, which was our Greek area? It is this area, isn't it? This is the Greek area. Oh, and the coffee machine. Right, let's get the um, let's get the tunnel tank on the go. Now then, where can I put one there like that? I think I'm going to use these rather than decorations in tanks. I mean, they're quite they're quite large, aren't they? Is to uh, is to actually just use it as 
general decorations around our Greek area. Like so. There we go. Right, we're making some good monies now as well, so hopefully we'll have plenty of money to get this area open. Right, as far as these guys goes, they are very easy to look after, which is great. Don't know if we've got have we got any of those? It'll be down here if we do. Are these what are these? These are corals. What is an I'm not sure. If that's a particular species or a particular type of fish, we don't have one. I'm not the turtle. Yeah, I don't think we do. Southern Syria. Oh, wow, look, they can get up to 40 in size. They want a horse eye jack fully grown. I mean, these would be pretty damn good to have, wouldn't they? At size 40. Okay, we're going to leave that one there because I feel like that wouldn't be the worst one ever. Um, right, can we get rid of one of these? Meter shit lids. Point value. Add animals until the combined value of the tank is at least 160. Should we just get... Oh, what do we get for that? Three giant isopods. I'm not really that bothered about that one. Can we do that one and just... Get it straight away. Yeah, lovely. Big boost to our uh, ecology research there. Uh, what else have we got here? What other ones? Blind cave tetra. Captive, captively bred. My name is Jill. I'm going to take all by itself. No, we'll get rid of that. We don't need, don't need to worry about that one. We'll also get rid of those because we can get rid of that. Let's just clear this out. An Amazonian angelfish. Yeah. Max Snapper. We already have that. We got, we got through that one quickly, just purely because we got so much ecology points from completing one of those objectives. Uh, yeah, do we have a humpback snapper? I feel like we do. That is a negative. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this, because this is this all helps us, because we've got... Um, we need to put in more... More tropical fish for our pirate area. From harbour side, painted objects. Okay, actually, no, we'll, we'll get rid of that one. Um, right, blackfin ice fish. No, we'll get rid of that one. Uh, no, 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 get rid of that one. Large filter for sale. We actually accepted two large filters. Let's just, uh, I'll we'll just put them somewhere for now. Do I, do I have to attach them to something? It's kind of annoying. <laughs> just, <laughs> can I just put them somewhere? Right, I'll stick it there for the time being. Steal those away. Uh, okay, that's obviously another one we've got to do. Don't really care, care about that one. Can we get this in somewhere? Some very nice fish. What is this? Actually, I should probably just check this. Can I check this one out before I put it in there? I don't know. <laughs> I need to put it somewhere and then quickly look at it. Right, let me uh, pick next research. Cool, that one's done. That was nice and quick, wasn't it? Um, the mega hill to right. I want to check out. Is it purely decorative or does it have properties? 
He has floating cover, plant plus six for fresh water tanks. Okay, lovely. That can that can sit in there. That is fine. Uh, oh, no, sorry, back. Um, kind of do need those, actually, don't we? We'll take those. No screw fish yet. Yeah, we'll take those as well. Did we complete this one? All right, we'll get rid of that one. Look, we're, we're going to get all these fish at some point anyway, right? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter that we're, we're rejecting these opportunities to get these fish because we are going to get them anyway. We will eventually unlock them. So it's absolutely fine. Right, okay, that has... That has trimmed the fat nicely. There we go. Right, I'm happy with that. Right. We have, however, got rid of it. We have lost a lot of money. Uh, but look now. Look, we've now got a couple of extra fish in here to throw in. We've got the... Sh Those are Sholas. Dislikes food competitors. Can it be housed with other species that eat krill? It's fine because there isn't any. Uh, horse eye jack. These are going to eat... Wow. They get quite aggressive, don't they? They will eat anything up to the size of 10. Those uh, horse eye jacks, so they will definitely be in a tank on their Todd. These guys, though, might all be able to go in the same tank. Their shoulders, just like lights. I think they can. I think these can go... All three of those can go in the same tank. So we can have a nice big tank just for those guys. Now then, we can also now put those guys in the small tunnel tank. Now, how big can we make this? I okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we might be able to utilize this. So can I can I build this yet? How much is this going to cost? It's five thousand to make that one. Okay, we are going to need to save up a little bit more money first. Oh, one of the things we had was to for, about blind cave tetras, wasn't it? We don't need all these. Can we just sell them? Do we get money for them? Click to sell this and contents for 5,000. Oh, it was hovering over the damn tank behind, I think. Uh, right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Right, there's too many of these things in here now anyway. We'll sell a whole bunch of these like this. And then we'll uh We'll just do that. Now then, how many is that? It's forty out of sixty, right. There we go. So we did make ourselves a little bit of money by selling all the Tetras that were in there already. Ten, president, ten Predators are present, reducing the survival rate by 10%. They eat their own young? Whatever. Okay. We now have enough money for our tank. Lovely old job. So, where are we going to stick you? So, if we do it like that. So, they come around that corner. And they are straight into... Straight into that area there. We can also now, I think change the do we have another substrate that we unlocked i thought we did so it's only pebbles apparently but not enough money um yeah i thought we unlocked another substrate at some point but may or maybe hmm i could have sworn we don't oh maybe i saw it in the next 
in the next one. Maybe that was what it was. Okay. Whatever. Right. So that can go in there like that. Sort of almost matches with the floor. Okay. Uh, right. The first thing we can do... Actually, we just we just sell these filters. We don't need them, do we? Because we're going to need something bigger anyway for this tank. Right. Apparently that now needs more. So every time we get... We're going to have to just keep selling them. I mean, it's a good revenue source, I guess. But every time we get a few of those guys that uh, sort of grow up and hatch, they become a problem because the tank is not big enough for their requirements. So that's going to be a slight ongoing problem. Uh, it is nice, finally, that apparently the black kind of now works. It's now the other way around. It now doesn't look right that those have that colour. St still annoys me, but I can't be bothered to go and figure out why. Right, so what do we need then? Um, do we have enough money to do everything that we need to? I'm not so sure that we do. Total prestige from bridges and tunnels. That's fine. Delete all them. Uh, Regal Tang. Yeah, we'll take those. I should probably have looked, actually. What are these? They're armoured. Oh, they can go in with those... With these guys, with the horse eye jacks, because they have an animal size of 16 when calculating whether or not a predator can eat it. So actually, they will be safe among the, uh, the other guys. That's good. So... Uh, right, let's get a balloon shelf. That's lovely. I don't think we have enough money for the time being. We can maybe just focus for now. Put a, a themed... Lovely little themed toilet in there. Very camouflaged in the corner. We now have coffee machines. Let's start putting a few of these about. Plenty of coffee machines about the place. Don't think... We have now got podiums as well. I forgot about that. Do we now want to have... One person in each area to do talks? I mean, it makes... Sort of makes sense to do one there, doesn't it? Um... All right, we do the Medus talk schedule. Just basic aquarium info. Like so. Now, here's where this becomes a problem. We've actually told people to not do it, right? So, which is, which is okay. But do we have anybody that's good at talking? We do, but they're also very good at other things. So I think we just need to find somebody else that can do is, is good at talking. Any advance on the two that I just saw? It's another two. No, I think uh, we'll hire you. Right, so you are going to go into zone number three, Emma. And you are all about the talking. Supplement manual. You can have the sneakers accessory. Uh, where on earth do I find that being here, won't it? 
Sneakers dispenser. Not enough money, as always. Come on. I don't know how much it, how much it was. Uh, that one in. Just unlock them all. They've all got to be unlocked at some point. Oh, there's a door there. I can't really put it there, can I? How much does this cost? 400. Right, there we go. So you can have that. You also need to have... A mic headset. You've gone to connect that. I think, did I not also see there was something like flashcards? Or was that, might have been in the unlock actually. Yeah, flashcard dispenser. Flashcard accessory increases the equipped skills. Give more advanced talks. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely be getting that in for them. So that's cool. So that's one. Do we then add, do we add in another one? I mean, we've got several pretty awesome. If we do one, like, can we do one here? Oh, we don't have enough money again. So we can do Stripe Box Fish, Unicorn Surgeon Fish, French Angel Fish, and the Arabian Butterfly Fish. Just do a nice little talk about them all. There we go. So that's two talks set up for that little lot. Okay, excellente. Now then, we need a number. That we need somebody else. We need somebody else with a talking skill. There was one, I'm sure. Yeah, that had two, wasn't it? Yep. So it was you. So you are going to. We're not. We're not going to do any talks in here. Do we do any talks in zone two? Are there any fish worth talking about in here? Yeah, I mean, we guess we could do one in there, couldn't we? You can go to zone two, Edward. You can get one of those as well. And then we need to... We've got, we got enough money. Um, one of those. And we need a mic headset. Right, got plenty to talk about here if you want to. Schooling Bannerfish. Coral Beauties. Porcupine Puffers. Tinfoil Barbs. This is a big ass talk. And the Roseman's Rainbow. There we go. That is literally your only job, Edward. Um, assuming it's that one. All right, walk into podium two to give unifor unifor unicorn surgeon fish talk. There we go. So that one is working. See if we can gather interest in people. Have you got? Have you got the sneakers? Right, come on in. Gather round. Gather round. It's interesting. So she only gives one talk at a time. Oh, it just it goes through. So it doesn't do it all in one hit. I get. I'm with you. I am with you. Could actually, do you know what? We could add a little door in here, couldn't we? That is sort of in the way there. A bit like that. 
I believe it was Greek paint one, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. So we can add in a little sneaky go-between that should speed things along. Uh, okay. Arctic skate for sale. No, thank you. Not for the time being, because we don't need to worry about the ice levels. Alright, good, 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 good. Uh, what else did we unlock? I think what else we've not long unlocked. Coffee machine we unlocked, didn't we? Which we have done. We've now got the balloon shelf. We're going to have to stick some of those in. The flashcast dispenser. Let's get those. Let's increase our torques. Uh, right. Balloons, balloons, balloons. Where are we? Balloon shelf. Finding room to put all these damn things, you know. Um... And then we need to put in the supplies, balloon supply. Not enough money as per as per usual. One there. It's 400 a pop, come on. I mean, given the size of our aquarium and the amount of things that people can do, see and buy, I kind of expected this to go up a little quicker. I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to lie with you. But the money still takes a little while to uh, to accrue. Maybe I need to have a quick look at the at the, uh, at the state of everything. But anyway, there we go. We have got those in now as well. Verity has leveled up. Okay, you can have a feeding stat. Right, so now, now I think we are finally at the point we need it. We'll get these flashcast dispensers in once they're uh, once they're sorted. But the rest of that, a feeding stick dispenser. What does this do? All right, just increases their their skills to uh, to feed. That's fine. I mean, to be honest, so many of my staff now are just really high level with feeding. I don't really feel like that's needed, which is absolutely fine. Day 135. The blind tetras are spawning again. Meter shits lizards are growing again. Interested in a leopard shark. Mm. That could be kind of cool to have in that float in that tank there. Could you have one tank next to another, actually? Just thinking about it. What's an... What's one of those? I'm not... Echinoderm? What's one of those? Is that how you pronounce it? Needs a random sentence. They need one of those anyway, those types of tanks. Uh, can we get rid of one of these objectives? Let's get rid of that one. Oh, is it a type of um, thingy, isn't it? One of those. Have we got a second what, second starfish thing to unlock? No. Okay, that's annoying. Whatever. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just have to hold on and wait. Right, okay. Back to my original question. Can I put a small tunnel tank... right next to it let's just uh extend this out a bit here you can you can have one go straight into the other i think i'm gonna do that you know i think that's a really cool idea if i say so myself right 
That is, that is the new plan. That is our new direction. We're going to have two of those tanks to go alongside each other. It's going to require lots of equipment, lots of maintenance, and therefore lots of staff, which is absolutely fine because we'll start a new zone. Um, right, what else have we got? Oh, we've got the, the, the Bull Huss at 35 once we go into the cold and ice side of the uh, aquarium. I think that's the biggest fish we've got on our books currently. Unless there's anything else that's massive in here, is there? Can't imagine there'd be anything bigger than that. Even the uh yeah, that's a big boy. 35, that's a that's a big old boy. Flash cards are done. We'll get those in, in a moment. Let's just take everything off of the list. One thing I have noticed as well is that obviously we've got these tropical ones here. These are freshwater ones. We've got quite a few freshwater ones. We've got a lot of saltwater ones. So what we could do We have one of these tanks could be freshwater, one of them could be Oh okay, the fan shrimp doesn't matter which one is which. He's nibble bubble bubble. Not to share two different species. Okay, yeah, not quite. It'd be good if that one required um, acidic water. That would be better if it could. Okay. That changes that approach somewhat, but that's fine because we can still get all three in there. Have we got enough money? Four and a half thousand. I think we're getting there. I think we we might have enough soon. Striped boxfish supply. Uh, we'll leave that there for now. He's now level ten at feeding. Do any of these fish here? None of these breed, do they? These are all fairly run-of-the-mill fish. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Should we put twenty of them in there? Just because none of them breed and we've got a massive tank to fill. How much of these are pop? Yeah, these are a bit more expensive. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let us get everything else up and running. So let's get let's get a pump involved. And then Right, okay, that should suffice for the moment in terms of the quality and the heat. We need orange pellets, which is fine. We've got those there. We are going to need some stuff. Right, you can come in off the bat and be my feeder. Uh, advanced skills, right, zones. Create new zone. Drag this one out. Lovely. Okay, so this is zone number four. Uh, James, talents. Yes, we know. So disallow. What are you not allowed to do? Any of that lot. We'll allow you to do... No, the RM membrane was going to be done by the person doing the fixing, isn't it? So that's fine. Um, yes, the rest of it you can. None of them need supplements at the moment, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, and then we are going to need somebody who can do fixing to a decent standard. Lovely, you will do for that. Zone 4. And then you are the opposite for the time being. There we 
go. In order for you to be able to do your job, of course, that you will need a tool station. We'll also need a broom stand, a sponge sink, and an RO membrane dispenser. Like so. Uh, we can also, we can probably stick a, like, we'll stick a science poster this side. And then when we get the other tank, the other side, we can stick like a one on the reverse. Um, I think we're good for now and everything else. We'll probably put, we need to probably need to put a bin in, don't we? Somehow we'll do that once we put some other bits in. But yeah, they're okay for the moment. They're all being looked after, and we came in just in time, money-wise. So that's good. We didn't uh, we didn't extend ourselves too far. Should be able to work out actually what we need. Um. So these are 189. Now, if we want to put 20 of those in there, I mean, 10 of those is 1,800 and whatever. Two of them, so it's going to be about 3,700, 3,800. Would be my guess, and then another fifteen hundred for that. So what's that? So it's five thousand three hundred ish to get twenty of each of those in there as well. We might be able to do the twenty of these pretty lively, to be fair. But they also do need some uh, cable lovers, which is uh, which is fine. Right, let's get these in there. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now, these are slightly bigger, aren't they? So, in terms of what's four times twenty? Eighty. So, and we had sixty in there before, wasn't it? So, yes, that's fine. So, we have definitely got the twenty in there, which is good. Uh, we now need to get some cave stuff in there. And we can now also get in some... What have we got that's not in here? Oh, we have no we have no money again. Yeah, the money really did drop that time round. Slight downsides when you're having to wait for money to catch up all the time. Uh, right, these are going to be a problem because these things breed like the world is going to end tomorrow. But it is at least a good revenue source. Oh shit. Just deleted the, uh, the pebble substrate there by accident. Uh, where is it? Thanks for interrupting me. Where was I? I was here. Right, thankfully, selling all of those, uh, all those fish has provided me with a lovely little bonus in stuff. Still need some more, some more of that, that's fine.
Okay, good. That is a good looking tank. I'm happy with that. So now, what did I say? We needed about 3,500, didn't we? Panth a coral grouper. Um, yeah, we'll take those since it literally just... So I guess the, the key is, is that when you get these, it just says the reward is that they're unlocked. That's the one we want. We don't want to have to do something to, uh, to unlock them. We don't have to do some kind of challenge like I accidentally did with that one. We still got those regal tanks as well let's not forget so they can go in one of the tanks yeah we still need more we need more dosh and then once we've got the second of these two tanks set up we can get people to start coming down this way and what are we doing cash flow wise so a net cash flow I mean obviously we spent an awful lot of money on building and livestock in there yeah, we're, we're doing pretty damn well. Look look at the, the increase in food and drink. Now we've stuck all of those, excuse me, all of those coffee machines in. We are churning away on that. We're also selling more now because we've got balloons in bits and pieces. So it is having a good effect. We want us to think about getting those flashcards in. So I'm going to stick the flashcards in as well here. We're going to stick those in, one there, and we're also going to stick one in over there. Now, where is the two members of staff? So, you've got you. Uh, oh, you can only give them one of each. Oh, that's fine. Do you know what? Take the flashcards. That's fine. I didn't realize you could only give them one accessory. Who's the person that does like the cleaning and stuff? So you could maybe uh, you could do it, give you a bit of extra fitness to run around the place. And who does cleaning this side? Is it you? Who does cleaning in zone? Sorry, I'm looking. Needs to be looking at zone two, don't I? Uh, it will be you. There we go. Okay, look, we can start, we can see some balloons as well flying around now. As I guess I'm picking those up as they go around. We've almost got enough money here. Can I look at these, please? There we go. Chubby, we get just as we get close. Oh, an anemone. That was something that was beneficial to our. Who was it? Who was it? He wanted. Oh, it was the um, it was the Nemo's, wasn't it? I think we we'll go for these. They do need lights, though, and one of the species we wanted to put in there didn't like lights. Annoyingly. Right, we'll leave that where it is for now. We'll leave that one alone for now as well. I'm sure one of these two species didn't like lights. It's that one. There you go. When I could move them out into a different tank, I suppose, but... The whole idea is we have them in there with us. Um... Right, let's start getting these in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Run out of money. There we go. 200 out of 240. So there's an awful lot of fish in that tank. And now, unsurprisingly, we need to sort out the water quality in there. Because it's not very good. We also need to get in some krill. Why is that so much money? 
1,050? Jesus. Okay, we may need to... Uh, let's delete that. And get a large double filter on the side there. That gets us an awful lot closer. And then maybe what we do is we just... We just stick one of those on. Ah, damn. Okay. Will that take us over the limit? Not quite. My word. There we go. Right, we're, we're, we're over the limit, thankfully. We do, however, need to get some, some krill in a bit lively. I'm almost at the end of another day. Annoyingly, right, I need to sell some more fishes. We need to get closer to this. They've not even reproduced yet. Now then. They shouldn't die. Where are they? Is it, it's these ones, isn't it? It's a skill feeding as well. Worryingly. So actually, that feeding stick that we're currently unlocking might actually be useful. we have anything else that actually helps with that at all? Or is it just... I mean, the supplement, obviously, is is one. Right, we're at midday. Come on. We need to get to that thousand mark as quickly as humanly possible, please. I think we will get there. I think we'll get there before the end of the day. My worry is, is that how many more days before these fish will die? Because if it gets to five o'clock, come on, we need to get to that thousand now. Right, there we go. Yeah, the trouble is, is that the amount of food required to feed all these damn fish is quite something. Uh, does it tell us? I can't remember how it used to tell us. Oh, it's here, isn't it? It, hovel it hovers up. So it needs 60 at a time to feed them all. And you're carrying 50, I think. Fuck me, that takes a long time. Okay, we can have some dead animals here. This is not good. This is not going well. How many dead? Oh no, we're okay. We're all right. None of them died, so we should be okay. Uh, da 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 da. Atlantic. No, we're not going to do that. But my word, yes, this does take a long time. So almost to the point, you know, I think that another person needs to come in. The backpack would be useful because it allows her to carry more. But then you also want them to be skilled enough that, yeah. So they did 50 out of 60. I think we need another person to come in here and do some feeding. Zone four, please. Right. In there. And 
you are to do all of that lot. Someone's doing that quickly. Who just did that? Is that is that the new person that's just come in? No, oh, it's only because it was it was and he needed to feed ten, right? Oh wow, there you go. That's why that one takes so long. Look, it needs a hundred and forty. So it's effectively it's three trips. You can carry fifty at a time, I think it is. So actually, having a backpack would reduce that need by two. So actually having the staff backpack, and especially as we're going to have another tank, which is going to have a lot of things in it as well. Maybe the backpack thing isn't the worst idea here. How is this? Oh, the backpack's 10,000. Ah, oh, okay. Whatever. We've got two members of staff in there now. We've, we've got it covered. We're okay. Maybe we can give them the um, this to increase the speed at which they feed once this unlocks. Okay. We actually haven't made the inroads into this area as much as I would have liked in this episode, I'll be honest. But it has come together. This was a quite an expensive tank in the end. This tank altogether probably cost about 10,000 would be my guess. So I think we've, we've done okay. But yeah, I definitely wanted to get more done than I have. Okay, feeding stick dispenser unlocked. How much are you going to cost? 500, okay. Feeding accessory increases the equipped staff member's feeding skill by 30 when feeding animals which require skill. So in theory, we should see a fairly sharp increase in speed of these things being fed. Hopefully. But yeah, haven't made as much inroads as I wanted to, but we have at least got part of this set up. Definitely in the next episode, we're going to have to save up a bit of money. We're going to get ourselves another... Uh, where are we? Another small tunnel tank. To go directly alongside this one, like that. That's another 5,000 in order for that to happen. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to play it by ear, because we should be able to get in... So if we look in the saltwater ones, we're going to get the horse eye jacks will go in there. Yeah, the, the armoured ones I was talking about before. Where are you? I thought there was one that was an, was armoured, or was it a cold water job? Oh, wait, no, it's uh, it's these things in here, isn't it? Where are you? Uh, Regal tanks, these things. So they can go in there too. They're size 8. They're fairly big. They can go in there with those horse eye jacks because they are large enough that they won't cause a problem. When we get those horse eye jacks fully grown, we can then turn around and throw some stingrays in there as well. So we can have that quite as quite a big one. Uh, do you know what? Let's get rid of that one. We've got f some floating lettuces to do as well. So, yeah, we've got plenty going on. They continue to grow. A wobble gong shark. It's a big old boy, full to size 44. And they want a bull hus fully grown. We don't have a bull hus as yet. And if I remember rightly, they are... Are they not a cold water fish? They are indeed. So we're not we're not doing cold water fishes at the moment. This is very much a warm weathered climate aquarium for the time being. So, um, right, there we go. I think we're going to uh, end things there for this episode. We are progressing along. Sometimes the episodes show an awful lot of progress we seem to get through a lot sometimes visually it doesn't look like we've done much but actually think about it we've added in podiums we've added in um we've got some new stick dispenser things that increase the speed at which we can uh, serve the food to our fish we've also got new coffee machines in 
And just generally, when you're putting in bigger fish, you need more money. So I'd like to see... I mean, cash flow, look, if we leave it alone, the cash flow does go up pretty damn quick, which is nice. But obviously, it's going to then drop down again once you do this lot. So currently at the moment, we are losing... What's that? 1,500 quid, 25, whatever. So yeah, we're losing a fair amount of money. But... You know, look at the daily profit. It's pretty reasonable. So if we leave it alone, I think in a couple of days' time, we'll have enough money comfortably to get ourselves another tunnel tank in, get some bigger fish in, and then we can open this section up and start getting some of our guests to come down this way and start making inroads into this and getting the next uh, unlock done. So, yeah, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I'm going to record the next episode pretty much straight after this, so we should have two to go. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you very soon.